Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Here we go again. Same old song with the same old end. Here we go again. Baby, now y'all know I don't really react to Olivia anymore. And everyone says, girl, we want you to. But I'm going to tell y'all something. All that stuff she does on live with the, <sighs> and all that gum chopping and stuff, it drives me crazy. She can do a live for two hours and talk about herself and it still is about absolutely nothing. But okay, now the back and forth has begun, okay? It's some DNA drama again, okay? It's like, is Zolo the baby daddy? Is Olivia really the baby's mama? Is uh, AJ really <laughs> freaking Robin Christian and Ryan's brother? I mean, at this point, it's like, who is what and where is what, right, with these children? Now, Olivia, she's done got on here and she done told us that the man on the moon could be the baby daddy. She done told us that the last two that she supposedly had allegedly had the same father, right? She has got on here and she showed her hand across somebody's chest that's got tattoos. She got on here and told us that the baby daddy was a special agent and he was in the military. He was black ops, baby. He was on call of duty. He was fighting for his life. You also have told us, Olivia, okay, that he's a married man, right? That he lives in New York and he wants you to move to New York. So my whole thing is how do any of these stories align with the fact that now that he's all of these things, he's married, he's covert ops, and now he's in your bed laying there and you're going to make another baby because he's telling you what you want to hear, right? So in, in, of course, we all know that it's lies, right? We know that it's could be anybody. Like I said, it could be the man on the moon, baby. It could be Jeffrey Dahmer, baby. It could be uh, Hudam Hussein. It could be anybody at this time who is the baby daddy, okay? He, they could be living or they could be gone because Olivia does not have any, and I do mean any, okay, taste. She doesn't have any class. She doesn't have any standards. She has absolutely nothing. All she needs is an app that she can swipe left and right on and then hook up with them and keep it pushing, all right? But, ho, ho, this has all fell apart now. Now um, we have some back and forth going, okay? We have Olivia setting up an Instagram where you have to pay $25 to get in there and hear her talk about the same things that she's going to talk about on YouTube, right? Then we also have, okay, Zolo, who's now going back and forth, who is saying that, I'm not sure because I, I'm when I tell y'all between the two of them, you can never tell what's being said. So either Zolo is trying to say that he has filed to have, you know, a petition in court for a, a formal DNA test or he's saying that he's going to. Now, they're going back and forth in community posts. We got Liv saying, you know, watch out for this guy, and he done trapped me, so I'm going live over on Instagram to talk about it. Then she comes back on YouTube and says there's no way he could be the father, and nothing's going to happen, that she's already had DNA tests on these two children. I mean, it's the back and forth. At this point, okay, see how we could talk about the back and forth forever and then just get tired of it? At this point, we need to know. What exactly is going on? I mean, Zolo, you if you did something, then why are you only putting it in the community post so uh, misspelled and ill-grammared and everything else? Why don't you just say, hey, I petitioned to get, you know, uh, paternity and this is the court date. Uh, boom. All right. Why, why didn't you say that if that's what's going on? Or we had a paternity test and this is the results. I mean, this boy will be four or five before anybody makes a real move to find out who his daddy is. Okay. That's what I don't understand. Also, this child has been on earth for quite some time now. Anybody could have went and got some paternity. So what's changing all of the sudden? Is it the view? Is it the click? Is it the clout? What is it? Please don't let it be that Olivia is being uh, true, that you just as obsessed and you're not happy and all this other stuff, please tell us that it's really some paperwork going on and we're going to be able to see some documents and some real, uh, you know, proof. At this point, it wouldn't even be bad if you was a dad or was not. It would still make headline news. I mean, for God's sakes, this, this child is the victim here. This child is the person that we should be worried about because look at the pool of parents that they have, right? 
These are the, this is what we should do. They're stuck over there with the mama who thinks that laughing about being behind on child support and possibly uh, going to jail as a result is funny, right? She thinks that's funny. She thinks that being behind in child support and being able to see her kids, that that's funny, that that's cute. She bounces and whole hops all across the state lines and then still thinks that that's cute. She has more and more children that she can't take care of. So at the end of the day, um, if Zolo was the dad or not the dad, somebody needs to be the daddy because this child needs a child, needs a father. Because being around this mother is not really uh, all that great and all that it cracked up to be. Oh, my God. When I tell y'all, this is like a saga, right? So I guess we'll have to, you know, continue to watch and see what happens. I mean, I'm really hoping that uh, eventually some maybe public paperwork will come out that we can all look at or figure out exactly what is going on because all of the back and forth makes absolutely no sense. I mean, saying uh, Zolo is now saying, oh, well, I pay child support for my other daughter. Okay, yeah, and it's proven that it's your child. So, yippee, what do you want a cookie? Round of applause for doing what you should have been doing since day one. But, you know, this is this is a crazy thing is that these two are still battling over a relationship that has been done and over with for almost two years now. At this point, if you want to know if it's your child, do something about it. If you don't want to know if it's uh, your child, then don't do something about it and go back over there in the shadows and don't post. This shit is crazy. Y'all got me cussing. But anywho, uh, yeah, I will be uh, keeping an eye on it, okay? Because here we go again. That's all we can say. Will the real daddy please stand up? <laughs> somebody, because these men, if they don't know what she does for a living, somebody needs to get on this app and tell something, all right? Because this is getting ridiculous. Oh, baby, I'm going to see y'all in the comments.